Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. As you can see, I'm here together with me and my float. So it's basically just the two of us. <laughs> this is my own float. I bought it, I think when I was 18, maybe 19, but I think 18, because we never ever had a float before. And we always had to borrow a float. Um, and then I was finally able to buy my own float and I was really, really happy with it. I must say it looked a little bit better then than it does now because it's very dirty, a bit old. A lot of things have happened with it, but I will show you all the damages that I've caused. But next week I will be giving this float away to Hank and Ellen. And Hank is the guy that I had Andorra stabled at for like eight years, I think. And he helped me always with everything. He is, um, he means a lot to me and Ellen is also my best friend and she means a lot to me too. And I always was able to borrow Hank's float and now um, when I have the truck and I don't really need the float so much anymore, then I thought it's nice to maybe do something back and I'm gonna clean the float and then I'm gonna give it to them. First, I wanted to make it a surprise, but I kind of spilled it already, so there's no surprise anymore, but I will clean it and hopefully it will look a little bit better than now because let me tell you, it's very, very necessary, but I'll show you it. So don't get scared because this float, I was really, really happy with it and it looked quite good it was like nice from polyester two horses even had a tag room in it but yeah over the years of course a lot of things happen at one point you don't keep it as clean anymore you're busy and all these stupid reasons um, so now it's kind of a lot of things are missing some things have broken but I'm not so handy so I didn't ever fix them it's still safe for the horses that is something that I got checked every year of course because I don't want them to uh, fall through the floor or something like that um, so yeah i'll show you as you can see this is all green this isn't meant to be green normally there's a wheel here so it can rest on there that is gone because it was stuck but i still have it but hank is very handy so hopefully he can fix it this is all green terrible i feel so sorry as well because i was so i am but i was very happy with it too all green don't even know what that is. Got freckles by the, <laughs> by the years. Okay, so let's go to the back. What is missing here? I think that must have been a light. This is a light. I mean, it used to be. Let's see, oh, and this. At one point I did get a lot fixed from the inside and also the new window. Oh god, what happened to this? Or oh, just the tape, I didn't even know there was tape on it. Um, but I have a lot, a lot, a lot of good memories on this float. I really took it everywhere and it's really special to me. But I'm very excited also to be giving it to someone that can really use it right now. Okay, show you the inside and I'll tell you a few stories. We kind of have been using it for a lot of trash um, as you can see so i need to take it all out as you can see it is kind of a ferrari float so this happened because i am very clumsy and then i was driving to the supermarket with the float and you always have a limit for the height if you go to a supermarket in a lot of parking places well, I forgot about it and then I heard a lot of noise and then I looked around and I saw nothing. I was like, oh, thank God everything is right. But then apparently the roof didn't fit underneath the, yeah, the thing that tells how high you can go. So the half of the roof came off. So that needs to be fixed, but I won't be able to do it here. It's actually also quite funny. Also at the supermarket, I had a show in a village somewhere and there was like a roof from the supermarket like this. So you had some shadow for the rain for the bikes. Um, but they had like pins that came out with it. And in the moment I wanted to drive away with my car, the float was touching it. And then it went like the pin came into the float and then it lifted the float. So the float was literally stuck and there was a hole here, nothing with the horses, but very stupid. So I had to take the float off and it was really hard to, yeah, to get off. And these damages on the roof, I don't think I made them. I don't think so. So yeah, that's most of the damages. The other things that happen, you can't see anymore. So we're just gonna skip from there. But yeah, the rest is kind of a nice float still. So 
now it looks awful but let's hope after I first clean it so I think I will sweep it first after I sweep it then I bought a high pressure uh, machine so I can really really clean it but I first need to get it all out by hand and then I need to see if I want to park it here because I don't know if you can see it but it's going downhill there so then all the water will just stay there so maybe I put it in the arena after it's clean and I'll clean it with water but we'll see okay let's get the stuff Stuck on the ocean now, nothing but waves in this villain in. I wanna dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I wanna bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside. So I'm all sweaty <laughs> and everything because it's quite warm and I thought a warm day could be good because I'm working with water but the first part it's quite warm because the float is warm and everything but that's not a problem. Uh, so I kind of sweep most of it out, I will show you in a second. But now I was thinking because I need to move the float still but I don't really have anyone to help me and alone it's a bit too hard. So I was thinking to start with the inside or the outside, but I think that now I have to start with the outside because it probably needs two rounds anyway, so I might do it now and then the inside maybe as well not, and then I'll do another round maybe tomorrow or maybe not. Um, so yeah, I'll show you now what this looks like. It's a lot better, but definitely not clean yet, and then I need to set up the power hose and then I can start cleaning the outside. So it's a lot cleaner. But that was stuck, I couldn't really get off, it's paper that got wet. So it's all set up and let's host all the dirt of this float, hopefully. And I'm gonna put you on a kind of a safe distance. But the tall waves have worn us down, and slowly we are drowning. That's why you need to come. I have to show you this. It looks quite good. Should have definitely owned a machine like this before. So I must say, this is definitely inspiring me because I'm always pretty easy with my stuff and I think as long as it works, it works. Um, and I don't really care so much about like the looks of it, but by seeing this, it's also really nice to keep your things really nice and clean and look good. So yeah, it's definitely inspiring. I should have done it earlier, but okay. Let's get going. So one side is done and I came to a realization that this is great. But the only thing when it's clean, I literally see everything that isn't clean. So these black spots before I would have never thought anything about, but now they can still go. But, 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 but it looks a lot, a lot better. I can even see a reflection again. Let me see if you can even see it. Da -da -da -da. So I think I will do the roof from the inside already today because then if I finish tomorrow then it's not leaking on me. Um, but I'll show you because I think it's definitely one of these things that will be satisfying too.
time for another day, another day to continue with the float. The float has been turned around now, so it's a bit easier to clean the inside as well. So the dirty water goes into the arena. Um, and I need to do the top still on the other side. And I must say I was pretty sore, um, which sounds very dramatic, but it really was. And now I'm just gonna set it all up again, and then I'm gonna continue. Let's hope for some good results. And it's still really warm, which is good. I think doing the top of the roof will be terrible, but let's see if I can stand on something and make it easier. You hey Ben? Hey Ben? You gonna help? We could do so many great things. So believe in me. I believe in you. And I just feel that this will be an upswing. So it's finally time to do the inside. I don't know if this will be the biggest job or something, but I de definitely think also one of the most satisfying ones. So, just need to think about how I do it. I think I go through the front door, so then I can just let it all come to this side. Okay. Hear me out. No, we lost our purpose. Chasing all that surplus. You were all that I need. I feel that we can break free. So, after two days of washing, it all has come to an end. It's the day that I'm going to bring the float away. It's it looks so good. Yeah. It looks like I, because I was way better. It looks like an, looks like a, it looks brand new. And I must say, it could have been better. Like the roof is not like fully, fully done, but I couldn't really reach it. And those that also really matter about the roof, but the rest is a lot better, I think. I'm super impressed. And now I hope they can fix the rest. Yeah. But I'll show you around. So it's all sliding now. It's so good. This I'm clean. This was all green. So impressed. Do you like the color now? Yeah. If you would do, want to do it really it's well. It's not my favorite, but then you can even like fit one. <laughs> it's not my favorite color in the world, but it looks way better than what it was before. Somehow all this plastic came off a bit. Yeah, but I think it's just. I think that's actually. It's not the plastic. This is like the, la the they put like a little layer to make it darker yeah, for the sun. Maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah, you were curious about the window. Well, this is the window. Can we go to the inside? Yeah, let's have a look. But I do think overall it looks a lot better. Yeah. Like I like bringing it away like this. Yes. To the inside, I had some dirty things in it already again. So. And I think it's good for people to know you use this float like to hell and back. So, look at it. A lot more white, kind of clean. It was quite hard because everything that was dirty, if you tried to get rid of it, it just like was flying up, and then you had it everywhere. Oh, I can imagine. But no, it looks so good. It looks super. But like even doing small things like changing this rubber for black, new one, it would already make such a huge difference in here. But it's just, it's just one of those things where we have a truck now and it's just not worth putting money into this. Did you tell them what we used it for? Mm, rubbish. Just rubbish. This was our rubbish truck. Did you take this stuff out of in there? Mm -hmm. Did you put it somewhere good? It's now in there. Oh, okay. Great. In the truck. Great. <laughs> Excellent. This is uh, the result. And I think, <laughs> it's nice for this weather. And I think it came out well, and I really hope they are happy with it. I hope that they are also impressed by the results. Do you think you'll keep it nice? Mm. He always fixed it when I broke it, so. Okay, that's good. He's got a lot of work to do. Yeah. <laughs> ben, what is, you happy with the, with the float, with the trailer? What a pretty dog. Okay. Careful with your head, careful. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this process. Oh, I hope they were all satisfied. I know I was. As much as I am, yeah. So, time to say goodbye. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. And let me know if you ever had like a project like this or if you have good tips to even clean it even better. And now uh, it's time to keep the truck clean, I guess. Yeah. Well, since you're already on a roll, you can do the truck I did next. already. You did? Yeah, but I didn't have soap, so you couldn't really see it. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy your day, or night, or whatever. Bye-bye.
Thank <laughs> you.